Hi guys, I understand a few of you were a bit confused about how the lists work in our saving tutorial. So right now, well in this quick vi tutorial, well video, we're just going to quickly look at how lists work. So if you, so creating a list, fairly straightforward, like a variable, I'm just going to call mine things to say. Okay, so when I'm going to drag out events when flight clicked. Data looks say item operators pick random one to ten and add hi my name is Sprat. Who are you? And then we'll have want to come play. And then one more. A ball. H-E-R. Okay, so when flag clicked, delete all of things to say. And who are you? Okay, he'll say that. Here's a ball. And then he'll say a lot of things. Oh yeah, I put pick random one to ten. It's pick random one to five. Whoops. Here's a ball. Who are you? Who are you? Hi. Who are you? He seems to like to want to come play. And then here's a wall. He'll say like all of those things. Okay. So now we're just going to delete that list. Delete list. Okay. Inventory. Okay. And then add whatever to inventory and when i keep pressed which is kind of like opening your inventory control repeat data length of inventory looks say data make a variable item change item by one set item to zero Look, say operators item, then just drag up your variable here, and then put that in. <laughs> and then when I key is pressed, oh. And then if you add more things to your inventory, like six, H, map, And then when I key is pressed, O, 6, H, and a map. Okay, so now it's time to look at the final use of lists, which is arguably the most helpful. Okay, and okay. Make a list, and I'm just going to call it save. Uh, what is it? Anyway, I'm just going to call it saved stats. Okay. Events when flag clicked. Control repeat 10 times. Replace item. Make a variable length. Set length to operators. Pick random one to ten with operators join data item length of save stats and operators pick random one to ten. Okay, and repeat another ten times up here. 
data add thing to operators pick random one to 10 to save stats. And as you can see, it went and changed all of these things in here. So that's how you can kind of use each item of a list like a variable. And then what you can also do is you can plus like five or something. And we're going to want to delete all of say stats. There we go. And you can see that it added five to some of them and stuff. And then we can do times length. This is an example. And then you can see it times some of the numbers and stuff. So that's basically what a list is. It's just a collection of variables or something you can use for like an inventory and stuff. And I hope this video really answered all of your questions. Like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye.